what's going on social nation it's your girl quality hines i'm back with another video so i'm working right now i got a lot going on but it's a whole lot of stuff that's been jumping off since i posted my last two videos and that's cool that's fine let me tell y'all something when you decide to pick up jesus and carry your cross and walk to a t how he told you to and you start living that and becoming the epitome of it you stare in the face of adversity you stare in the face of judgment you stare in the face of people looking at you and saying oh who she thinks she is she ain't got the right to do this she ain't got the right to do that so i want y'all to be aware when you pick up your cross just go ahead and prepare yourself for this type of stuff because that's just what's gonna come with the territory but i'm, I'm letting y'all know i don't back down from none period you can take your arguments up with me all you want to it's not going to change the fact that God's word is what it is. I said what I said in my videos and I meant it. Because God meant it. You live a little warm lifestyle. When you go see him on judgment day, keep that same energy. Because he's going to reward you according to your lifestyle. Period. It's so sad how y'all always walking around here screaming and hollering. Oh, Jesus died for my sins. I don't have to do this. I don't have to. Oh, I don't have to do that. Yes, you do. He gave you the God. He told you to do so. You have to understand God said who the son sets free is truly free indeed. So when, and I'm saying this with love, but I'm saying this from a place of like, look, enough is enough. If God said that he sets you free, that's final. There's no need for you to battle with addiction. There's no need for you to battle with fornicating. There's no need for you to battle with lying. He set you free. So stop making excuses for why you can't live holy. That's all the world does is make an excuse for why they cannot follow the instructions that God has given them to follow. I'm a work in process daily. I don't have it all figured out. But I know what God told me and I know what he requires of me in order for me to be his disciple. He said, you got to forsake everything. How can you say you want to have the body of a goddess, but your refrigerator and your cabinets is full of snacks and junk food? How can you hire a personal trainer to fix you and help you clean up your lifestyle and make your body what it wants to be, what you want it to be? But when a trainer come around to help you, you reject him. You don't want to throw out your bad food. That's the same thing with God. You can't say I receive God and I want him to clean me up and make me new. But when he starts getting rid of all of that bad stuff in you, you don't want to let it go. You have to understand something. When God comes in, he cleans you up. 